live. We are in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Smallest super we've been to, four stalls. Um, check out the P90D. I love, love, love the red brake calipers. Anyway, we just got some lunch in the mall. Uh, it's kind of windy, so we're actually going to un and head out. Back up for a second. You can show them that 100% of the cars charging here are silver. Metallic silver. Okay, fun fact. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's see, we got some snacks down on here. But what we are going to do is flip this around. And now we can drive and we can live stream. How fun is this? Okay. I don't think I've ever done this before. Yeah. Sorry, we're just gonna fix this a little bit. How's it going? Hi, how are you? We're on our road trip. It's going well. We just got some lunch. Thank yeah, you. We did skip lovely. By the way, if you have straws, please cut them for the turtles. Actually, we did stop in Loveland. Somebody was asking if, about Loveland. We did yes, stop we at did. Loveland. We didn't need to supercharge there. We grabbed some 360 pictures oh, and stuff. Off. In 500 feet, oh. turn right onto You guys the might hear navigation a little bit. Sorry about that. Yeah. But we stopped there. Didn't need to charge. Actually, it said that we had enough charge leaving from Estes Park to make it all the way up to Lusk, Wyoming. But we have only 5% back, so yeah, we could have done it, but it would have taken us, it would have had to slow us down. Plus, we wanted to stop at a couple of these other superchargers just because we haven't visited them yet. So, yeah, we've been getting some really good 360 photos that I can't wait to upload. Um, something special I'm working on with those details later, but um, yeah, Wyoming's not so bad. Let's see if we can do the front cam. Can we do this so that you guys can see? Oh, look. It's like a dash cam for you all. It's like you're in the car with us. Yeah. How exciting. We're gonna go back by, we're right next to the Air National Guard base. Yep. It's just to our left here. Yeah, but so we're driving, wanted to go over obviously some Tesla news that hit. Didn't really want to make a whole video just for it. So we'll just do it now. We'll live stream it. This is kind of fun. It's a good way to interact with people. I see all your chats up here. So uh, thank you, Ludicrous Speed, yes. I wish. Um, anyway, um, so a couple big things hit, actually. Uh, black arachnids are back on Tesla's website. I think you have to order a P100D, though, Model S. I don't know if it's for Model X, but you have to order the P100D to be able to add arachnids. And they're only in black. But uh, we, I actually still have two sets of black arachnids that I don't think I'm going to be keeping um, because I think I'm going a different route with the wheels. So... Um, Maybe I'll be selling some black arachnids in the future. I guess we'll have to see. Um, also, perforated seats are now back. So they're starting those in the P100D also. So you can get perforated seats. I have a feeling it was just they had to bring it in-house and that just took some time to do. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Navigation, the Meadowstone sorry. Road. We don't come to shop um, very often. Oh yeah, so yeah, obviously, yeah, arachnids aren't gonna be for Model X. It's just the planes. Oh yeah, there's planes. Uh, yeah, arachnids aren't from Model X, good catch. Um, but the perforated seats should be for both, so they're just bringing them back. I have a feeling they're just trying to bring them in-house. Now that they are in-house, they can start them out originally like they did anyways with the P100s, and then brought it to the rest of the fleet now as time left, went on. Road. Um, we're gonna turn this navigation down a little bit so that we can talk. Um, oh, it's on six, that's why. Three's good. Does perforated seats also mean cool? Um, we don't know yet. They they don't say. So as soon as one gets landed here in Colorado, I'll uh, go play around with it. Hopefully, it's better than the last versions. They weren't the greatest. Yeah, I'm sure that they they, will... they sucked. No pun intended. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, also, like, I heard some people had some durability issues. So yeah, that was with, the new, with the redesign of the new wheels, or sorry, the new seats, they'll. Uh, uh, be a little more durable yeah um what else happened i think uh, model three uh, sorry this is live so this is going to be interesting model three rims are now available in sonic color like the gray so that's kind of cool cooled seats in my they, ford were fantastic yes i had those in my fusion yeah. too and they also the i heard that the model three seats have changed slightly as well mm -hmm. it wasn't really announced it's not a major change but the, the i think the padding the bolstering and you know the, the stitching has changed very slightly yeah um the model three seats i was actually from like tesla and t sport line they found that out 
doing some seats. Hi. And um, yeah, now it's completely different, which is crazy, but we know they're changing things like crazy just to make everything more efficient and more what the people want, which is great. I think that might be it, kind of like the change from. I mean, here I'll show you where we're at. We're getting on the highway now. Oh, what's going on? Yeah, there's a plane uh, way up there. But... Yeah, so this is where we are, Cheyenne, Wyoming. We just passed all the fireworks stands right on the border of Colorado and Wyoming. There's a bunch of fireworks stands where you can buy fireworks 365 days a year. All the time. That's Wyoming. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Besides that, that's kind of it. We can do an impromptu Q&A if you guys have any questions. We could answer those. We also we're going up to Custer. And tell them what's case. going on. So, it, so we're going yeah. to Custer tonight. There's just kind of a registration, and I guess everybody's going to have their cars there along the main drag in yep. Custer. Um, they're going to have like some snacks and I think some live entertainment or something like that. Just, it seems like the town really goes all out there. They, A lot of the hotels there several years ago put in chargers. So there's Tesla chargers as well as regular J1772 uh, charging. I guess they're not chargers. They're, you know, EVSE equipment. But they put those in at a bunch of the hotels around town. Yeah. But just last week, the Custer Supercharger opened up. So now... Tesla will be able to supercharge in Custer. So um, how many cars year. participate? I think there's 60 at signed least, up this year. At least year. 60 so far. And the um, cool thing is, the I think there's like three Model 3s or maybe four or five. I don't yeah. know. There should be a lot. But uh, I'll be uh, logging everything too. So that'll be kind of exciting. Yep. And uh, so they're going to have tomorrow, they're going to have a big group photo in front of Crazy Horse Monument, which yep. is, you know, we're, we're going to be pretty close to not Rushmore. Yeah. Another monument that's nearby that they're still working on. But oh yeah, all, well, all Teslas in the last. So if they don't, I will because a couple drones with me. How many Model Ys? Ha ha ha! I actually made that joke. I said, yeah, he did. Actually. I said, oh, that'd be cool if Elon or somebody showed up in a mile in a Model Y, but probably not gonna happen. But that would be nice. I mean, if Franz wants to bring me my roadster early, I'll accept it here. Or it'd be cool if a semi showed up. You know, we've seen the semi, yeah. but it would be cool if it showed up here, but. Yeah, that would be really exciting, but no word, obviously. I doubt it, but it would be cool. Um, yeah, and now we are going to Wheatland, Wyoming. We, we, like, yeah, t normally when leaving Cheyenne, there's a, a back route that you can take that thinks two-lane highway. It will get you to Lusk a little bit faster, which is the next small town that has a supercharger in it. But we don't. Uh, we know that there's a supercharger in Wheatland that's almost done. It looks like... Yeah. You know, it's like a day away from opening. It would have been really nice if they had it open today because a lot of people are traveling and they're all going to be traveling back on Sunday and there's only four stalls at that location too and it's it's not going to be fun for people heading back south uh, to Colorado on Sunday because they're going to be waiting to charge there in Lusk. Or else yeah. they're going to have to skip it and drive really slow to get to Cheyenne but then they're going to wait to charge in Cheyenne because again, only work chargers, super chargers. But it'll be nice once they get Wheatland open because it does add a few miles to the trip it only adds like another minute or two uh, because it's a fast limit it's four lane interstate but uh, once they get wheatland open they're gonna have i think eight superchargers there 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 won't be any way anymore here's a little military convoy oh, yeah. from where we're passing oh, here i'll flip the uh, cameras you missed it but there's some no, there's of, some we saw a lot of military. guys from i think the national guard there when we were at the uh, mall supercharging they got some big antennas Yeah, this is a vlog, vlogging actually at the same time. Don't vlog and drive. Luckily, David's driving. Yeah, so we're going to be about 60 miles to go. Not much there, but uh, supercharger. A couple restaurants, gas stations, stuff like that. Yeah. I don't know. Any exciting Tesla questions out there? Those are always fun. Hopefully we don't lose signal, because I know that we're going to be... Oh, uh, let's look. We still have 4G full service, okay. so we're good for a while. If, if we disappear, we'll be back when we're in Wheatland. Probably. Yeah. If you guys have any Tesla questions, we can field those as best we can. Next Tesla event, no word on yet. Hopefully later this year. Hopefully the Model Y, because yeah. Elon has said that they're supposed to be starting production of the Model Y by the end of next year. That means they're going to have to show it to us so they can get it you know, all hyped up and yeah. to see what it looks like. Yep. So, so hopefully the next one will be that. We do have a couple other events that we will be going to 
we don't know when, but when, yeah. But we're going to be going to the Falcon Heavy launch for SpaceX one of these days. Falcon Heavy launch. We have the Boring Company event. Um, we'll be doing a little Canadian road trip. Fun fact. Um, spill on the garage project. I can't. I really can't. I'm sorry. I really wish I could. Trust me, I'm working hard on it. Look, I actually have a blister. I've been working so hard on it. So I'm slaving over it. Uh, Falcon Heavy in person was awesome. I know, I really wish I could have gone. Yeah, we look forward to that. We missed the first one. Yeah. Lee will be glad. Drones deliver. Roadside. Turning previews. on shore. Getting there. Oh, and it disappeared. Uh, I don't think we'll have any issues what? with charging. Oh, in, no, not anticipated. In Custer? So, you know, it said like drones delivering charges to cars that run out. I mean, that'd be really cool. Don't oh, get wow. me wrong. Yeah, that'd be, that'd that'd be, be really neat. I don't know if they'd have enough battery, but in one of these days. One of these days, for sure. I mean, one of these days, the Teslas will just fly. We won't even drive, right? Yeah. I but would think speaking so. Speaking of though, you know, autopilot's been working really well. Uh, we've been taking I-25 pretty much the entire way since yeah. we left uh, the Denver area. And I, autopilot, I'm still on a slightly older version. I'm on 2018.14.2, which I've had for about three or four weeks. It works pretty good for the most part. Still dives kind of every once in a while. If the lane gets really wide, it will take try to take. Oh look, here's here's like a Wayne line. Yeah, the, the thing, the nice thing in Wayne is See, they have that the lane right line, there. But they have them painted. They don't always paint those dotted lines in Colorado, but Wyoming and Nebraska are very good about painting those, and so the car doesn't deviate at all. Yeah. Col Colorado, it's it's like eh, sometimes they paint them, sometimes they don't, sometimes they're half painted. It's I don't know. There's yeah. No, there's no consistency. It's a mess. <clears throat> but Wyoming, thank you for that. Yeah. Because as long as it's got those dash marks, it doesn't do anything at all. Yeah. But it's uh, so I'm still on this version. It's it's a few weeks old. Eric got it's gotten a couple. Yeah. Oh, slides solar again. panel. Okay. So Eric's, we got some other questions. Eric had uh, 2018 dot eight. No, he had dot 16, but he had the problem where the steering wheel, heated steering wheel, stopped working. Luckily, he got an update like a few days later, which 2018 dot 18, mm -hmm. which fixed the issue. Yeah. And uh, I think that you only got the. 18, you didn't get that 18.2. No, I just and there's even, 18. There's even 18.3 now for uh, Model 3s, but uh, I don't know what's different than yeah. that. Okay, so somebody asked uh, about a Model S and X interior refresh, minor refresh, or what. Uh, I haven't heard anything. I'm not really counting on it, being as how hard Tesla is pushing Model 3s. I don't expect anything to happen with Model S and X this year, we, in my oh. opinion. I mean, maybe the perforated seats will come out to everything. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Speaking of the Model 3, though, I know that they asked about the refresh for the S and the X, but the Model 3 might go on sale like today, right? Start for oh. the all wheel drive version. Yeah. And so we're excited about that because we've been waiting. Maybe it's today, maybe tomorrow, maybe it's another week. We don't know. But Elon did tweet last week that it. Sh he said it should be open this weekend. End of this week. So as soon as it does, we will be ordering an all wheel drive model. That should be really cool. I have a lot of cool Model 3 stuff coming next. Is it next weekend? And it's like in a week. Oh, for the other? Oh, your yeah. Model 3 project? Yes, yes. Something. Yeah, model, big Model 3 news coming next week for me. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. It'll actually be like in a week from now, almost, plus five hours. Um, and then another question was solar panel update. Still working on that. Have a couple other videos talking about we decided to enter, um, And a couple other ones. But so far, we don't have an install date at this time. Hopefully, we will. Sometime this week, we'll know a better install date. We did We did have a phone call, I think, two days ago, and they said within 30 days, I think. Yeah. So that hopefully it will be um, either getting the install date within 30 days or getting them installed within 30 days. I'm not sure, but we'll hopefully the latter. Some, make some progress on that. Cause it's, we, we, it has been a, a several months since we started the solar project, but we it's been going back and forth because they originally proposed a much smaller solar system with a lot fewer panels because they didn't know how much we use and yeah. we've added another car and so we need more than than what shows up in our our usage on our old bill so yeah we were able to prove to them that we need more yeah solar um somebody oh i just oh, i saw the question and now it disappeared how to, oh there it is hey that's cool um do you think the four-wheel drive model will have two wheels charge and two wheels pull? Uh, I don't think so. I think that would actually hinder it or maybe even balance it out because when two wheels are regenning, 
Yeah, it's like it would out. actually slow the car down, and then the other two wheels would have to work harder. So that might be counterintuitive. Yeah. But good idea. I like where your head's at. But we're we'll still waiting to hear because I know that the Model Three has different motors than what are in the S and the X. Yeah. And it'll be interesting because there's a lot of debate as to whether the all-wheel drive Model Three will have better range better mileage than the rear-wheel drive version because on the Model S and the Model X, the all-wheel drive versions actually get longer range. Dual motor and white seats. Not waiting for white seats, fun fact. Yeah, we thought about it, but for this car, it's not going to have white seats. No, the no. Model 3, we're just going to order the all-wheel drive one as is. A lot of details on the... From the donut. Oh, yeah, okay, so we vlogged this. Uh, but we went to Johnson's Corner, got a cinnamon roll. Johnson's Corner is like this restaurant truck stop uh, Kind of north of, close to Loveland. I was surprised I think it's south of Loveland. But we stopped and got a big cinnamon roll. We saw they had these big donuts. We, oh, oh, I these, just dropped the nut. Every time he pulls it out of the bag, the nuts fall off of it. But look it's at the size of it. It's like, look, look it's like almost as big as my face. I know. But it looks much better than those Krispy Kreme donuts we got the other day. I don't know if you saw those, but. Oh, speaking of which, I stopped to call them. Eric bought a dozen of glazed, glazed donuts at Krispy Kreme. And they were like, I was like, is this a joke, Eric? They were like, mini donuts they were like half size and he didn't know what i was talking about i showed him showed him the donuts and yeah they something was wrong yeah. so he tweeted crispy cream and they said yeah those aren't up to standard so we need they to looked them. hideous yeah and diet they, donuts no such thing yeah they just messed up i don't think they proofed or Cheat they, did, they didn't raise rise or something it was I don't know. it was pretty bad. um we didn't eat them Oh, it looks so yummy you licked your screen. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's a big donut. Couldn't there be two new Model 3 versions, dual and performance? Oh, yeah. We so, talk about that. Okay, so here's... I hate to say it, but here's what I'm thinking. I think what they're going to release is the performance model, which is all-wheel drive. And then in like a month or two, they'll open all-wheel drive non-performance. Yeah, that's... You heard it here first. And when we stopping in Wheatland, yes. It's a possibility. Um, I'm hoping that they don't do that just because we want to get in the order for a regular all-wheel drive. Yeah, not the performance. Not the performance. But hopefully, the, I, I don't think there will be a, as huge of a demand for performance. There might be. But they've done things like that in the past. Yeah, I could... Yeah, so I, I can start really off. see them starting off, if you want all-wheel drive to begin with, you have to get the performance. And then in a few months, or maybe a month, they'll drop off the performance and you can get all-wheel drive. It wouldn't surprise me, it would be kind of a bummer, especially for us, but at the same point, I could see it. Yep. Because that'll be a higher profit car, which yeah. they would like right I now. I never know, they might have like 500 orders for those, but I bet they yeah. have like you know, 200,000 people for the all-wheel drive. Performance will jack up the price. Oh, for sure. I, I would be surprised if a performance Model 3 all-wheel drive was under like 70 grand oh no yeah i think it'd be more than that uh, i do too i think it's going to cost more than the base model s i can't yeah but we'll see so that's going to be interesting because there might be you know, some cannibalization of sales but it's kind of two different markets so people who want the to just get a, a, a the performance three are, are not going to be in the same market as getting the cheapest model s yeah uh what will performance do to range Probably not something good. I, it'll probably be similar to what it is now because it'll have all-wheel drive, which is better. Um, you really hope they make it a Ludi as fast as the S. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they might for that yeah. kind of price. I don't know. We'll be interested. To yeah, see. I saw Ben's video actually, and um, he like 89, 90,000, which I mean, with taxes, I, it wouldn't surprise me. It yeah. depends what your taxes are, but I still think they got to keep it a little bit slower than the S and the X just because otherwise nobody would buy the S or the X anymore. Right? I can see them making it slower than the S but faster than the X. Yeah. And because guess, the X has, is the X not has as more, efficient. Yeah, and the X, I guess they do have different uses. Model X more for cargo or for more, a lot more people. Yeah. But yeah, I just don't think a lot of people would spend that much money for the performance Model S if they could get it for you know $1,000 less on a on yeah. three. Yeah. I am curious to see the numbers. That's for sure, because it, the Model Three non-performance still is pretty fast. Yes, we we uh, went in a test ride on the Model Three, and um, the driver asked if we minded if he uh, floored it. Floored it. And we're like, oh no, and he he floored it within the I don't know how many seconds, but he got it up to like 122 miles an hour. Yeah. that's the fastest I've ever been in a car. You know, I think unless we've been that fast in an S. I mean, you know, but I was I not expecting that in a Model Three, especially quickly yeah the model 3's got some kick as is so the performance 
It should be nothing less than spectacular. But 122 miles an hour, just like that, it was, and and it felt very solid. Yeah. You know, it was. I I couldn't believe how fast it jumped that that high. I mean, Teslas in general at high speed, I've never had an issue with. Yeah. Because we've all been, felt solid. You know, we've been able to ride on the test track at Tesla's Fremont factory when we yeah. went out for what that was the Model Three event last July. Yeah. And they took us out on the test track. We did a few a, runs of that. In a P100T, and so we got to go really fast. But even then, I don't think we were going 100 Whoa! miles an hour on that track. I and mean, we probably. I think we got at least crept up to 100. 100. Yeah. And it was cool because when you're going on the curves, you're going like sideways on that when test track. When are you getting your Model Three? As soon as all-wheel drive hits. It's kind of what we're waiting for. We're hoping it was going to be this weekend. Yeah. Um, but cool. it hasn't happened yet. I haven't gotten the email. I don't think I've really checked. Probably oh, should check. Yeah, check the email. Um, but I think we would have heard. Well, uh, probably some of. I'm sure heard. somebody would have tweeted me by now. But um, yeah, as soon as all the drive comes available, uh, I don't. I don't. I think we'll keep color and everything a secret. For now. Yeah. For now. I know what it is going to be. Yeah, but we'll keep that a secret for now. Um, obviously, seat color is going to be black. What if they do open white? Mm -hmm. I think this one will still be four, four, three, six for P. I mean, maybe what those number three point six seconds for performance, oh, okay. four point four yeah. for all wheel drive. Because what is it listed at right now? Five two? No, for the three, I don't know, it's something up there. It's it's. I like would look, but I'm actually using my phone right now, sorry. I think the Model 3 is listed at 5.2, but it came in at like 4.8 or something as is. Not all-wheel drive. So, yeah, Model 3s would be a good guess. 5.1, okay, yeah. Yeah, but... I'm pretty sure it drag, I'm pretty sure Brooks at drag time got like 2.8. I didn't know the speed limit was 80. Maybe I've been going the wrong speed limit. No, no. Oh, 85 now. We're, we're, going 80, we're going 80. Yeah, we're going 80. 80. 80. Yeah. 80. Yeah. 80. 0. 80. Yeah, drag times really beat what they said for their uh, 0 to 60 time. So, I, I mean, actually, a couple of people have really beat what they said for 0 to 60 time. At that point, um, we're going to turn on the air here. It's getting it's a, little, a little bit of ventilation. A little bit warm in here. You guys, hopefully, that's. Da, 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 da. Okay. So yeah, I don't know. Model three will be interesting. Some good stuff from that. I guess there's. Oh. When was that? Uh, you know, the boring company was having some other event, but yeah, they had it like yesterday. Oh, they did. We missed it. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it was Thursday. It was the yeah, it was the talk. Okay. So so was oh, I even cool. missed it online. That was. Oh, yeah, busy. Elon, okay, about that, Elon said some very interesting things, or at least I found them very interesting. Apparently, they're going to hand-deliver all of the flamethrowers. Oh. Not a flamethrowers. Apparently... Not a flamethrower. Okay. Yeah. That because you can cool. uh, it gets tricky. Cool. But it's like, just ship it to me empty, and I'll go get it filled. So we have to go to, what, a Tesla service center? No, it's or, just they're going to show up at your house. Oh, weird. Which, by all means, come on by, but... Yeah. yeah, interesting. Fun, fun tidbit right there. Um, so I don't know where that puts me in line. I know I was one of the first to buy it, but they're starting delivery in California. He said that they're just like gonna buy a few vans. I don't know if he was joking or trying to get some shipping company to come in and be like, it's okay, we'll do it. But he was like, yeah, we'll just buy a few vans. You know what fuel, not a flamethrower use? Uh, I heard it was propane. I, I could be wrong on that, but that's what I heard. I guess I'll find out. But it seems to me that they could just shut empty and then just... I could fill it myself. Because that seems like a huge logistical nightmare to hand deliver all these things. Yeah. Well, they're only, what, they're only like 2,000 of them or something? 20. 20,000? 20, 20. Oh, that's a little more than I thought. Yeah. yeah. Delivered in not in arms dealer vans. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yes, that's how they'll be delivered in not in arms dealer vans. Um, but yeah, if you guys want, definitely follow us on Glimpse. You can go to uh, glimpse.com forward slash exclamation point Tesla inventory and you can uh, track us on there and, and see exactly where we're at. It's Glimpse with a Y, so it's G L Y M P S E. And it, yep. Or you can do it on the app, too, if you have their app already. But if you don't, yep. you can just do it from any web browser. You don't need to install anything. 
We can just do where we're at. Yeah. We're approaching Chugwater, I think, is going to be the next town. Yeah. And it's funny, last time we were in Chugwater, we brought, like, a pitcher, Full filled water. it with water. And chugged it. And chugged it. And yeah, chugged we water. Like... It was pretty interesting. Yeah, well, it's fun. It was a long time ago. Was that two years ago? No, that was probably 2014, so that was about uh, four years ago. Okay, long time ago. Tracking you actually, down. Actually, that was 2013, I remember. It's five years ago. Oh, four and a half years already. Right? Yeah, it was a long time ago. Before we had Teslas. Yeah, yeah, that was way before. Interesting. Oh, that was a long time ago. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. If any of you have any other Tesla questions, we can field those. Otherwise, maybe we'll just drive some more. Come back at you in uh, Wheatland when we get to that supercharger. We have, so again, about the Wheatland supercharger, it looks like it's completely done. Like, they're just waiting for Tesla to come out. They Tesla sends an employee out to test each of the stalls, yeah. and they label them. And that's how you can tell when it's done, when it's ready to be used. They'll put a label on it. And they also, sometimes the supercharger will be, like, zip-tied, so you can't remove the, the, the charging cable from the, the whatever, this holder. And uh, we've been to some superchargers that haven't opened yet where, okay, you can't even remove it, so we know it's not open. Yeah. We've been to other ones where you can remove the cable, but there's no power. So this one will be interesting because we heard a result or word yesterday that it wasn't open, probably not gonna open until next week, but who knows, maybe they came out and tested it, got it working this morning. We'll, we'll be surprised to see. But the cool thing, we were just at the Estes Park supercharger, which just opened up a couple days ago. It's still not on the navigation, as we mentioned earlier. It's still not on the yeah. navigation in, in the car, and I don't believe it's on Tesla's website either. But it is ready and open for business. Except, yeah. Except for that that last two stalls, which they had like five cubic yards of mulch in it. But I, those guys were working really uh, hard today with their truck tractor, and so I bet they'll have that mulch cleared out of there by later today. Oh yeah, hopefully Wheatland should be. It looks like it's done. Basically, it, it looks so. like it's done. It did, it even has the lights up. We've been to a couple of them yeah. where they didn't, they didn't have, have lights on the website yet because the the lights were not. Yeah. I guess installed. they were damaged upon to, arrival yeah. and they had to wait for replacement, so they delayed putting it online. But technically, yeah. it was still working. Yeah, because we've been um, to like Poncha Springs and Sydney, Nebraska. Both had yeah. the lights were damaged, and so the, the superchargers were open, but they weren't officially open yet because the lights weren't installed. Yeah, someone just asked about. Uh, again, uh, up this coming Friday, like in a week, but hopefully soon. Oh, Northern Ireland, that's cool. Actually, fun fact, I will be not in Ireland, but I'll be <laughs> in Sweden in June, uh, be there for a few days. So maybe we'll do like a little meetup or something. I actually have a work thing out there, but I'm going a little early, and we'll actually be celebrating my birthday in Sweden. So. Yeah, I've been to Ireland. It was a it was a few years ago, but uh, went to Cork and Dublin, and and uh, it was very nice, very green too. I went to I think it was Cork was where the Titanic left before it started its voyage across. The sea. But I don't know how where that is compared to Northern Ireland. I guess if they're in Northern Ireland, that's a completely different uh, country, right? Yeah. Denmark, uh, oh, close. Denmark. I've been to Sweden Denmark. and Ireland are slightly further away. Can yeah, you yeah. swim? I can swim. I'm actually a very good swimmer, yeah, but that yeah. water is really cold. You used, to be, uh, <laughs> you used to be on the swim team, right? Yeah, I was on the swim team for God. You should post some pictures of your, like... No, those pictures can't leak out. Um, I was on the swim team from, like, ooh, like a decade plus? Like, what, for, yeah, what I'm age? an avid swimmer. Oh, I don't even know. It was a long time, though. It's fun. Oh, well, the interstate's really nice up here. It's very smooth. But yeah, so I'll be in, in Europe here in like a month. So that'll be, well, no, not really Europe, but kind of Europe. Sweden. We'll just say Sweden. That's, that's Europe. Yeah. It's Northern Europe. Very Northern. Um, but yeah, I guess, I don't know if you guys have any other questions want shout outs just or receive them we'll be know. back probably about a half an hour yeah so. well uh, we have like 30 more minutes until wheatland hello from norway hello norway hey right hey shit <laughs> um paul's hardware but he just yeah i have been watching paul he's waiting on yeah edison can take a while oh where are we we are in we're approaching wyoming Ch chugwater wyoming Yep. On Interstate 25, headed north towards Wheatland. Have you picked out a name for your new Model 3? Hmm. No. no. I, to be honest, I haven't even thought about it. It was probably going to be Tesla Inventory 
three. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of lame, but yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, yeah, if you want to track us, you can certainly track us at glimpse. Dot. Whoa! Oh, I smashed the cup. Uh oh. No, we're good. We're good. Glimpse.com forward slash exclamation point Tesla inventory. It's glimpse with a Y. Uh, wrap color on the Model 3. I don't think we're going to wrap that one. Oh, yeah. They're trying uh, to get you to spill the color, too. Man. I know. I know. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Uh, let me hit this, get some of this. Yeah. How's our day been? Good. Woke up at 530. Um, we stopped at three superchargers so far, right? Yeah. One, two, three. We didn't charge at all of them, but we're just... No, four. We've been to four. We're yeah. trying to hit seven superchargers today, but we're only charging like three of them. Two of them. Uh, how's the new Black Beauty? The 900 is freaking amazing. Let me show them this again. Show them um, that. Show them oh, okay, okay. I'm going to show you guys this the mount. This is amazing, too. The mount. Yeah, it's from Tesla. But, oh, you're still on me. Let me flip the camera. But the mount... Oh, come on, camera. Sorry. Technical difficulties. Don't, okay, don't there's the mount, the other mount. Right here. Um, this is amazing. It just like is integrated so much. I absolutely love it. Um, but David, how is it your dash? Because this is a new dash cam for you. I haven't really used it that much because we just installed it last week. But I yeah. really like the integrated look with this uh, new mount that we have just because it's, yeah. I don't really even see it now because it's right behind the rear. And it, it didn't, I always had a problem with those aftermarket sticky pads or whatever we were using before. On hot days, it would kind of melt and separate yeah. my camera. Have you watched like down? And it's like the uh, video for the install of this mount, like the first like ten seconds I show it falling down. It's kind of yeah, funny. that's really really. What I would, <laughs> I, would go a, all day. I would go into a store and come back out, and and it would just be dangling and and fall down, and then it would hit the thing and say impact detected, and I was like, that was enough. So I'm glad that we got these mounts and. Yeah. Got them installed. Okay, let me go back into some of your questions. Give me a minute. Uh, what do I do for work? I work in biotech. David works in. I'm a program. Oh, my programming. 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 Um, let's see back here. Other questions we have. Cheapest ludicrous model three available. Oh, it's it's gonna be north of seventy, I would think. Oh I think so, yeah. If right it's now, under seventy thousand dollars, I would personally be yeah. shocked. Because right now a regular model three comes in about sixty thousand. Right. right. And so then I mean you add all wheel drive, drive performance. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna change my number to at least eighty thousand. Yeah, it's gotta be up eighty to ninety, I would think. Um yeah. It's gonna be pretty pricey because they I mean they don't want to cannibalize Model S too much. So it's going to depend. Do you, would you like a small car with Ludacris? Or would you like a Model S that has far more room and everything? Yeah. That's that's why I love the Model S, and it's I love huge. Model X. Yeah. Uh, Model Are X just feels like a Model S, but just so much more room in the yeah. cabin. So originally, a lot of you might not know, originally I had a reservation for the Model X, one of the very first ones. I signed up before the Model X had ever been released. But when they first showed the Model X, the middle seats folded down flat, and I was like, that's what I wanted, because yeah. we needed more cargo room, more room for the dogs. But when they finally released the Model X, I was like, hmm, those middle seats don't fold down. And so I kind of thought about it, I was like, you know what, I don't really need that much seating space. So I went ahead and changed my reservation over, and I got a Model S instead. Now I know they have made some changes with the Model X, and they do have the 5 seat version, and they have a 7 seat version that has a bench seat, so there is a way to get more cargo room now. So we're kind of looking at a Model X again, but also a lot of my road trips across... Wait, did you just... Don't leave. Oh, okay. Oh. I didn't say that. Oh. Okay, but also... Someone's leaking I have a lot of road trips. I have family and stuff in uh, Nebraska, Kansas, and we're driving, you know, Wyoming, South Dakota. I need that longer range because a lot of these states, the superchargers are still pretty far apart. And so it's nice to have that extra range. And Eric, he lucked, he lucked out and got the 100 kilowatt hour, 100 kilowatt battery. I only yeah. have the 90, but it still is great for all of my travel. And we're in my car today, the 90. D. Yeah. Okay, let's see. A bunch of comments just rolled in. Sorry, I'm going to scroll back, see what we got. Um, da, 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 da. Trade in my Model 3 for the dual motor. I actually do not own a Model 3 anymore. Um, actually, a, another gentleman who actually started doing some YouTube, he might be doing some more coming up. Um, he is actually the proud owner of that one. Um, he noticed a step back we're on autopilot after getting 2018.2. I actually don't have dot .2 yet. I'm just on dot .18. Um, I think it's a bit more back and forth. Huh. I guess I'll have to test that out. Um, 
pointless buying a Model 3 if it's $80,000. I would just get a Model S. Yeah. Personally, I like the room. But yeah, it's got, so back to the Model 3, yeah, it's kind of like, if you're like single, I guess a performance Model 3 might be better if you don't need the room for those people. Yeah. That's why I was trying to go with the Model X being a lot yeah. more senior. Uh, Model 3 seems plenty big for me. You owned an S before. I mean, if Model 3 works for you, all the better. I mean, it is it is a nice size. It's easy to do tight turns. It's it's yeah. super agile. I Don't like, get me wrong. I love the Model 3. I just like the size of the Model S. And I think Model S looks a little bit sportier. Model 3 looks a little Porsche, which is totally fine. Uh, have you heard anything about the Tesla truck? Not the semi. Ooh, that's a good one. So I think, again, this is speculation, when they show us the Model Y, they're gonna have a prototype truck. Oh, yeah. Because they always like to leak something at the events too. And I wouldn't be surprised if that went down. I guess time will tell. Um, We're going through chunk water right now. Yeah, uh, $35,000 Model 3 coming soon. Um, yeah, when they come out with like the standard battery instead of the long range and everything, for sure. Um, might still be kind of towards the end of this year is my thought. Yeah. And we're still thinking for the, the U.S. tax credit, it still looks like we predicted several months ago that uh, they're probably not going to hit the 200,000 delivery in the United States until July, which means that through all the second half of the year, we'll have the full $7,500 yeah. tax credit available if you qualify for um, it. Have they seen fully charged? You yeah. bet. Fully charged has some great stuff on there. Um, hi guys, I joined late. Where are you going? We are going to Wheatland, Wyoming. We are actually 22 minutes out. I'll show you what our view is. Yeah. Ta da! Take we're it in. Chug water right now. We're, we're going to stop in Wheatland, but our final destination today is Custer, South Dakota. Yeah. Um, what else do we got? Sorry, scrolling through. Do we build Bjorn? Why, yes, we do. Um, yeah. He has some really funny videos. We, yeah, he got us um, My steering wheel ahead. buttons don't work. Been two months, no new parts oh, wow. available. So frustrating. Go into your My Tesla account, and there's actually an escalation thing through there. Executive. Yeah. Uh, and, and do that because that two months is is too long. Is that a Model S or a um, Model? I don't, I don't know. Um, does your Black View have a rear cam? And if so, did it require you to splice your tail light? So it does have the rear cam. It did not require that. It actually. There's a power cable that attaches to the front, goes all the way to the rear. I wired it through the rear grommet and everything, although here you can see his, because we've been playing around with some different things on his, but it will be wired and then it's it goes a lot back there. But you don't have to splice, or okay. splice into your taillight power that, at that all. That provides both power and video signal over the one coax cable. To the rear um, camera. When in Sweden, look out for the Renault Zoe. Yep, uh, that's that's on there. Uh, Elon Musk's Tesla pickup will come after. The, yeah, it definitely will come after the Y. But when they release the Model Y, it wouldn't surprise me if they had a uh, prototype truck, just so we can see what it's gonna look like. Um, Nick, happy birthday! I don't know how old you are, but happy birthday! Um, how many times have you been before? You, how many time you have before your destination? Um, we're 20 minutes out from Wheatland, and but then probably like five or six hours out from Custer, not, depending like, on what we stop at. Yeah, maybe four or five hours, yeah. Um, oh, you like sunglasses? Everyone gives me crap for them. They're just Oakleys. They're nothing fancy. I have a bunch of others, but they're in my other car. Fun fact, they actually were reverse of my old car. So yeah. I don't know. Is there anything else? Any other questions? I think I went through everything. Um, I should wear black. I mean, oh, it's a blue shirt, yeah. So, that is our view. Beautiful Wyoming. I don't know if I can zoom in on here or not. Let's try. Oh, yeah, I can. That's so a lot of traffic, not a lot of stuff out where we're at. Yeah. Wyoming is, I think, it, I don't know if it still is, but it used to be the least populated state in all 50 United States. So it's, it's a lot of land, that's for sure. How much percentage... Oh, whoa, what kind of questions? Cool. Um, how much percentage will you be using autopilot? Oh, um, we've used it almost the entire trip today. Yeah. Um, the total trip is over 400 miles. 
so it, it's it's. I'd probably say a good ninety plus percent. It's on almost all the time. We had to turn it off at some times when there was some construction and and we were going yeah. through town. It does have to turn it on and off, but it's on the whole way and, and it's doing a good job. I I really haven't had to overtake it in, at all. You might have heard it a couple of times when there was a car getting close, and so I I took over, but uh, it's doing a good job. Um, our efficiency right now, we are averaging for the past 30 miles a 254 watts per mile. So we are doing excellent. Yeah, and this is going about 80 miles an hour. Best way to clean your white seats. I've actually found unscented baby wipes yeah. from Amazon. They're super cheap. Those clean up the white seats and they look just like new. Are you using autopilot the whole way as much as we can? Pretty much, yep. Um, uh, every time I go through there, there's a lot of wind. How is it today? Not too um, bad. There was some wind uh, uh, about 20 miles at back. At the supercharger, there was a yeah. little bit of wind, kind of by the mall. But, but right now, it's, it's actually not bad. No. The bushes aren't moving. That's how I judge wind. Is it near Indiana? No. No. Uh, we're probably like over a thousand miles, we're over a thousand miles from Indiana. Which is like over sixteen, over sixteen hundred kilometers from Indiana. How often is the speed limit wrong? Mine is off all the time in yeah, that three. Is... So highways I haven't had an issue with. We've had an issue with like little roads in town. That's I think the biggest thing. What's our current speed? I mean, it's eighty because that's what it says to do. Eighty miles per hour is this official speed in life through Wyoming. <laughs> um. Yeah, so the speed limit, we've had issues like around town and on some side streets, but on highways, we really haven't. Yeah, there was one instance, I don't remember where it was, but it, it limit, the speed limit was like 55 and it thought it was like 45, yeah. and so it wouldn't let me do autopilot above 50 miles an hour. So it was annoying, but it was only for a few miles. Yeah, um, 254, that's great at 80. Yeah, yeah, that's excellent at 80 miles an hour. Uh, come to Norway for a road trip. Um, oh, cool. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's some things being worked on. We'll be getting out of the U.S. for some Tesla stuff quite one, soon. One thing about our watt hours per mile being so low is because we're at a really high elevation. I'm not sure the exact elevation, but I bet we're still over 5,000 feet above sea level. So the air is thinner here, so we use a lot, we're a lot more efficient when driving. Um, somebody said their car's updating today. What are you getting? My guess is 2018.18.2. Unless it's a three. Let me know though. Um, somebody said floor it and somebody asked if it's a P100D. It's actually a, just a 90D, but um, I don't know. Punch it just a little bit. Get, just give, them a, give people a little bit. Oh, oh there we go. I don't, oh, 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 what's that? Oh, auto. <laughs> oh, see, look what you made us do. <laughs> Oh man! Um, so I took over. So now is it turned off or? Now you can't do autopilot because you, you went over ninety. Me, I accidentally pushed the accelerator, <laughs> and now I think we disabled autopilot. We're gonna have to stop. Yeah, seriously. Uh, autopilot's unavailable the rest of the drive. Oh wait, here's an exit right here. So we're okay, gonna, we're gonna just get off. So, so can... it does work. I don't know if you guys heard that, but if you guys try to go too oh, fast. Shit. Oh, is this an exit? Yeah, yeah this is an exit. If, That's awesome. If you guys take autopilot over a certain speed yeah you, you it turns off autopilot so we just got put in a little autopilot jail there autopilot jail we're going over cattle guards look at this uh, oh my god that is so funny so we have to go off the road to put it in park safely and uh, then to be able to turn an autopilot back on but yes okay it, it, it works but that was awesome okay. anybody coming that way no you're good go ahead and throw it in park well i'm gonna do it over here on the oh, other side okay. <laughs> Ah, okay, so I've, don't go I've forgotten that about that because yeah. normally we don't have that issue. But show them the cattle guard. There's we're in Wyoming, so there's cattle guards at the the entrance to get yeah. so so cattle don't get on the highway here. Yeah. So there's a the cattle guard right so here. I we're gonna it, go over it. I put it in park, so we should okay. be able to turn autopilot. Yeah. On okay. Go. So we just put it in park and stopped, and are getting back on the interstate now. Um, oh, 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 there's no. Oh. Okay. There's like no merger. There's no merger. That that's was a really cool. small exit. Um, yeah, so that's what happens when you go over 90. Okay, um, okay now we can do it again. <laughs> that's so funny. Well, I, I think I Tesla should open source their maps. There we go. I we got agree. autopilot back. No. If you get a Model 3 and white seats, what option would you get? Where an option would you get? I don't know. If white seats were available when we ordered, would you be get it or would you stick with black? Might stick with black, actually. I don't know. 
What music are we listening to? Actually, currently none because YouTube loves to copyright strike. Things. But you got something on your. Oh yeah, yeah. So I've been obsessed with the uh, podcast My Favorite Murder, it's run by two hilarious women, and they kind of go over some murders. It's like almost like a, it almost feels like a murder mystery. Um, but that's cool. But I also have like a Spotify playlist. I don't know if I'll make it public. I guess time will tell. There's like 800 songs on it. I just keep throwing stuff on it. Um, Elon Musk commenting on my Twitter. Did he? I don't know. I'll have to look. I know he replied. To Somebody you said past. it's so exciting to see Elon comment on your, my Twitter. Maybe. I know. I know that he's replied to you in the past. What was it? It was just like a couple weeks ago. I thought you said you posted something. And he I don't replied know. To you. There've been a few things. Uh, they didn't remove the limit. <laughs> no. Somebody said Bjorn, she. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, we totally got trolled. They totally got us. Uh -huh. Yeah. Good one. We, we fell for it. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> um, we, we got a bye from Iceland. Um, we invented a new term, autopilot jail. Maybe. Did we? I don't know. I, I know mean, we brought it really... up before. Remember when we were testing if you yeah. don't touch anything? And I don't know if we invented it, but, but we'll take it. Yeah, it's like basically whenever they disable autopilot, if you do something bad. Hopefully they didn't update that, upload that to the mothership. Computer I know, right? Like we're busted now. It's working again now. No problem. But yeah, we totally felt that. Yeah, we, yeah, we uh, click and bait it. Um, now you know, show that the update was going to give the map better browsing speeds, and there's a guy yeah. that has new maps online. Yep, it is definitely faster. Um, we've autopilot chill, yeah. And we've seen oh, the, oh, oh, here's a good one. Something new. What's the story behind the AE and the chill name? That's actually a good question. Oh, yeah. Any Norwegian relatives? No, it it's is, it is a Norwegian Simple. letter, yes. My name's David. His yeah. name's Eric. Yeah. If you combine the two, you get Derek. David, yeah. Eric, Derek. And it's just a cool way to put the A and the E together. And it's like a side software kind of thing that we have going on too. So yeah, that's kind of that's actually a really good question. And I get asked that a lot. And it's just pronounced Derek. A lot of people say D Eric, or they try to. Yeah, it's just they don't Derek. know how to pronounce it. It's just Derek, like name Derek. Yeah. Uh, somebody asked for married now. Um, do you prefer the old or new navigation voice? I like the new one a lot better. It sounds more realistic and yeah. natural. The other one just sounded completely computer fake. I mean, based on what Google's been doing lately, I really want to see stuff like that come to the Tesla. It, yeah, it would be nice because yeah, Google just last week came out with like six additional voices or something yeah. like that. Yeah, it was nice. I would love to be able to like choose the voice, choose everything, and Google just sounds so realistic. It doesn't sound like fake, like all the other voice things have in the past. Um, so yeah, I prefer the new one. And do I use it uh, driving like this? We are, yeah. but around town, no, not yeah. normally. Occasionally I will, so to make sure there, there's an accident and yeah. it me. Yeah, normally I have my Google, or uh, my navigation voice muted, except for today when we're going to a bunch of different places. So. Yeah. Supercharges we haven't been to before. You want my life. I mean, you can work as much as I work. We can switch. I'm down with that. Uh, would you get white seats in the Model 3 if it was an option? Uh, we talked about this a little bit. I don't know. Might stick with black. We'll figure that out later. Kind Maybe. Of, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. We'll, we'll think I really about do it. like the white seats on it. We don't want to give it up too much. Yeah. yeah, we don't want to give up too much. <laughs> um, next solar update. Hopefully, if not, a week from today, Friday, it'll be the following week. Um, UK Tesla have Spotify. I know. I just want Spotify. I listen to Spotify on my phone. I have the premium account. I have everything. I wish it would just be built into the car instead of... What do we have? TuneIn? Uh, we have TuneIn and Slacker. I don't... Yeah. I Slacker, is it? I don't really use either one of them. No, I use them. Uh, what wheels are you on? Just the slipstreams. Today, yeah, in my car. Yeah. No, I can't do both cameras. Not on this app, at least. Um, I'd kill for Spotify. Me too. I would love Spotify in the car. Uh, have you channel a new friend while charging? Da, 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 da. He has an S and is looking for an X for the wife. Oh, someone else is looking for an X. Interesting. Well, we're, we're getting close um, to the next stop. There's the new supercharger in... Wheatland, which is not open yet, as far as we know, but we'll, we'll be showing you that, I guess. We'll yeah, I mean, we're like on. eight minutes up, so we'll just stay on. 
Um, you want more apps for the car? I agree. That would be really nice, too. Some different apps. Someone says you can't browse Spotify on the Tesla screen. No, we here in America, we don't even have Spotify on the car. We can I Bluetooth it to the car, but we don't have it. But I keep it in the uh, browser. Yeah, we, yeah, we don't even have it at all. Uh, do I know like Tesla? Yes, I do know Kim and PJ. They're great people. Um, and they just picked up their Model 3, so congrats to them. I'm, I'm excited to see what they do with it. Uh, sneak peeks have looked pretty awesome, so definitely check them out. Uh, I thought the computer was internet browsing. It is, but like, I mean, here, I'll try it real quick, but I don't think you can actually get like... On Slacker? On Spotify. Oh, Spotify, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're actually, we have our glimpse up. Yeah, so you can do that. Just put that in favorites, and then... Glimpse. Yeah. Add to favorites. Okay. So I'm trying... Um, Spotify.com. Spotify. We're going to try that right now. Oh, Signals, someone just donated. Really someone just donated two dollars. No, oh, that's nice. like a Thomas Jefferson. I know. Thank you very much. I used to love two dollar bills when I was growing up. My grandmother worked at total a total shout out. Username no. <laughs> my, Exclamation point. my grandmother would take two dollar bills. She worked at a bank, and they would put them in like a checkbook, so I could tear off my two dollar bill. Every time I would go to the store, I would tear them off like checks, but they were two dollar bills. Hmm. That doesn't aid you at all. We can get to the website and loaded that, but I don't think you can log in. Yeah, so I'm gonna... Oh, I don't even know my login credentials. I'll have to look it up. We'll play with Spotify. If it actually does work through the internet browser, I'll make a video, but I don't but think no, it But does. you can't because you can't get audio. They, they disable audio Oh, yeah, that's video. true. So, yeah, you can't get audio from the browser. So while it might log me in, it won't actually play work, yeah. which is silly. Yeah, so it'd be Very nice if they had an app for that. Yeah. Or we were talking about even the Glimpse app, or some of these other travel apps would be useful. Yeah. Okay, so what else? We got a bunch of comments coming in. Um, uh, it is internet browsing, but yeah, just the audio. I uh, see seems not strong back there. I mean, I actually don't sit in the back. I'm, I'm guilty of that. But I haven't really had people complain. Maybe this summer we'll test it out. Now, if you're like in the far back, like in the jump seats, yeah. you... you you don't have anything in Model S. That's what's great about Model X is they do have the rear vents for anyone in the far back. Yeah, if you got a six or seven seater, the five seater, I think um, only has the front air conditioner. Any thoughts on the Model Y? Hopefully, I'm thinking. Uh, I don't want to be quoted on stuff, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say a November event. I'm hoping for November as well. Yeah. I'm up. I'm a. I'm a. Say it's November. Cause that's about it. Did we come back? We're back, sorry. Uh, we must have just like died for a second. Sorry about that. Yeah, we just switched the camera over. Yeah. Like, uh, Most advanced thing in the browser can do is GIFs. I didn't even know it could do GIFs, so that's that's pretty interesting. Um, could you connect a Bluetooth dongle to the radio and then pair the Bluetooth with the MCU dongle? <laughs> I don't want to test that. That sounds like a lot of work. I don't know. I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. Uh, Spotify and Tesla app, it does it. So Spotify does work in Website. European cars. Yes. Yeah. But not here in the US. We don't have it built in like in Europe. So it's kind of a bummer there. Uh, I have standard textile in my S. Does T Sportline do Alcantara? I mean, they do everything. They yeah. can do anything you want. So I'd just reach out to them. Um, okay, okay so, so here we are getting off in Wheatland. We still got a, another half a mile or so yeah kilometer whatever to get to you have three minutes until the supercharger, supercharger. but on well, this exit's a small exit kind of like that one we were on earlier but uh yeah so this is maybe a world broadcast premiere of Wheatland Supercharger dun, dun, dun. Broadcast so you premiere. saw it here first again it's we're not expecting it to be open breaking news but if it's open then oh look here's like a uh is that a Grand Am uh, hey who knows what this car is what is that car Grand. Does anybody know what that car is? Remember we ate at Western Sky Diner here once when we came up. Um, it doesn't say oh, on the back. Oh, it's a Trans Am. Oh yeah. Okay. What did I? Did I say you said you said Grand Am. I said I, Grand Am. I thought it was a train. I mean, I was close. Yeah, I thought it was a train. Was so we ate at this restaurant many like four and a half years ago with the, the breakfast. Everybody in that place, I think even the waitresses was wearing camo. I think it was the first day of yeah. hunting season or something, but it was amazing that everybody had camo except for us. Yeah. I forgot my boots and my oh, cowboy yeah. hat. Yeah. 
Let's go. We are Smitty's. Wait, I where are we going? I just realized something. We navigated here. We need to navigate to the surgery. I just told it to navigate to. to oh. Uh, so we need to. We need okay, to, another fail. Yes, fail. So go to supercharge.info or something really quick. Um. I th I thought we got off on the wrong exit. We should have gotten off on the the north the northern exit. So yeah, see, it's not. Dot showing, info. Um. Uh, Yes, it's showing up on, or er, I just navigated to Wheatland, not to the Wheatland Supercharger, because it doesn't show up on the navigation yet, so. This is what happens when we go live. That's yeah. why we do recorded videos that I can edit. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Uh, nuts. Okay, technical difficulties. I looked it up earlier, but it, yeah, it's at the northern exit. Fortunately, Wheatland's it's only It's a small like, town. It's only like two miles long, so it's, you know, like three kilometers, so it's it won't take us more than another minute or two to get there. But oh. I think it's like right... Where's the other exit? The right there. Other exit. It's like right there. Uh, we had a bunch of stuff. Um, we had a puppy in a crate yesterday. AC worked great all the way in the back of the X. Oh, yeah. X... X is um, no so and you have go, the 60, yeah, so that's what I do. Here. Let's go to right here. I don't know if that's where it is, but try to navigate to there. Cancel that. Um, that's why I love the X, to be 100% honest. And that's why... I, yeah, yeah, that's again... Why I'm we, just going to bleep this whole part out. We were looking for can. the X just because we, again, we have like three dogs now, and the, only two of them can really fit, and they barely fit in the back of the S, and, you know. By the way, what kind of puppy did you get? I'm dying to know. Uh, installing the camera and wondered if it will void warranty if you remove the panels. I mean, I've never had an issue with Tesla saying you installed a dash cam, you voided your warranty. I've never had them say anything. Now, when you do take your car in, they will unplug it. Um, it's, it's just what they do. Um, but they have never denied me anything for installing it. So, I mean, I haven't had an issue. Well, we're like I think we're the only like car I've seen here. All the truck, 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 truck. Oh, do, there, oh no, there was a Trans Am. I guess. Sorry. Do I hunt? No, I do not. I hunt at the grocery store. Actually, I don't really. I go to fast food restaurants almost all the time. Um, yeah, somebody said, David, that's crazy. You can recall that. I don't know recall. what that was in reference to, but yes, I agree. I have a good memory. Um, no work today. No, I'm on vacation. Um. Do, 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 do. Oh, somebody actually told us the address. Look oh, at cool. you. I think we know where it is, but yeah, if you if you have it, let us Yeah, Sheridan Road. That's yeah, right. That's okay, where perfect. I thought it was. Okay. Yeah, we got off on the first exit for no. Wheatland, and I was like, no, it's further north. And <laughs> I just wasn't paying attention. Unscripted moments are often the best until someone moons you. Haven't been mooned yet. You. The what? You, your pants are all falling down. No, today. they're not. Okay, it should be coming up soon here. Where did you get the Tesla chocolate mold? I think it was like Etsy.com. Try yeah, that. Those were good uh, chocolates. Labradoodle. Aww. Our, uh, adorable. If you post pictures on social media, tag our, me. It's like, it's our neighbors have a Bernadoodle. Yeah, it's really cute. Tesla solar panel phone case? Oh, no, I, I haven't seen that. If you could tweet it to me, that would be awesome because I'm, I just I want to know. Hi from Abu Dhabi. Wow. I want to go to Abu Dhabi. They're getting their Model S in two days. Congratulations. Cool, yeah. That's awesome. Okay, we're almost there, I think. Okay, Sherald, Sherald, Sherard Road? Is that it? Sh oh, yeah, this hotel right here. here okay, yeah, okay. Okay, so turn the camera well, on. I'm going to turn this. This should be the supercharger. I think it's coming up soon. Oh, $4,500 for a phone case? Yeah, that's a little uh, out of my budget. Oh, I think I... Do I turn in here? Oh, there it is, yes. Yeah, okay, so it's, it's right there. I don't think it's open yet, but we're gonna go stop by. We're in town. Yeah, we're we're live streaming all At the this, Heartland so. Inn and Suites. Oh look though, they got regular. Yeah, they've they got Tesla high powers. They have yeah. four of them. So we could charge there. Oh, oh, oh. So yeah, they do have four high power wall, wall connectors. connectors right there. Yeah. And those are probably working. Yeah, those they've had a while because there were no superchargers. And were. then, dun dun dun. dun, dun. dun. All of these. So I'll get out real quick. Dave will back up and we'll test it out live. Again, we don't think it's working, but we're going to test it out anyway. Just to confirm. What? Okay, Eric's going to get out. Okay, so David's going to back up and I'm just going to stand here and film.
Okay. Let's see what we got here. Is it? And? Does it, does it have power? I mean... If it opened the thing, it should have power. It didn't open the thing. Oh, it doesn't have power. See, they still have plastic wrap on it. Show them the plastic wrap. Thank you for tweeting me the link. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't work yet. Um, so yeah, here, actually, can you put this back on the mount? I'm gonna do 360. Photo. Okay, Eric's getting his, he's got this cool 360 camera that he's going to, we're here, we're not charging, but we're gonna take some pictures anyways, because it's pretty much complete. I don't know if you saw it. All the, the lines are painted. They weren't painted just a couple days ago. And it looks like they got eight, eight chargers here. One of them's a pull in. So if you have a trailer, you could probably get in there with that. Yeah. So it'll be a second because Eric is uh, setting up this camera. I guess I could show you maybe what he's doing. He's got this cool 360 camera. Oh, oh I don't know how to switch cameras on here in just a second. Uh. Sorry, Eric's been Eric's been doing. Oh, there we go. So Eric is setting up the 360 camera, and he's gonna take a picture of the supercharger. It's not that exciting, I know, but we're just documenting what they look like, where they're located. You can see there's nothing here uh, in Wheatland. There's the hotel Heartland Inn and Suites, which is nice to host the supercharger, but doesn't look like there's any food or anything. There's some sort of gas station. Oh, there is an A and W over there. Um, so you can get some fast food over there. Okay, Eric's gonna have to switch over to his camera really quick. I was showing the view here. So just oh, you picture. like this fancy mount? That's how we roll. I was showing him you setting up the 360. Oh, I'm sure I'm not that interesting. Okay, yeah. Oh. Okay, I'll turn the camera around so you guys can stare. It's been trying to kick us out. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're just going to go through the rest of the comments real quick, and then we're probably just going to end this here. Take a break. We'll be back on later. Yeah. Um, oh, they like your front plate. Oh, cool. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> now I see. Uh... Okay. But um, I guess that's basically it. We are going to go. I got to do this 360 photo and uh, get back on the road. Where will we be? What's our Lusk. next? Lusk, Wyoming. Okay. It's about so, 75 miles. We'll be back online in probably like an hour and 16 minutes is what this says. So give or take right about that. And we'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.